Welcome to Media Minute. For this edition, we're talking urban legends. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. And, yeah, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be talking about uh, urban legends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think we've all found, like, ones in Canada. I, I found yep. a few in Japan. Yep. Same. Yep. So there's, there's some pretty cool stuff on the go, like, around the world. Uh, of course, Canada seems to have a lot of lake monsters. Ogopogo. Yes, they do. Yeah, Ogopogo in BC. And I know back home in Newfoundland, uh, they have one. It's uh, called Cressy because it uh, lives in Lake Crescent. I've never heard of this one. Yeah, it's in Bay Roberts. Okay. Yeah. So if you ever get a chance a... in Newfoundland, you might see. Yeah. But what is it? Is it like a... Yeah, it, it's, it's like a... Well, like a it's serpent? like Nessie. It's, they call okay. it Cressy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. A... I, I've, just like looking into urban legends, there's a lot of like overlap like yeah from yeah. like cultures like there's uh, 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 i'm kind of screwing this up well the bigfoot's one like there's yeah. the bigfoot there's bigfoot, yeti sasquatch. there's sasquatch yeah like they all carry um, over yeah. Okay. yeah lake monsters too seem to be a thing too because there's like uh mike was saying right there's also another one i don't know if you guys have ever heard this i only heard of it recently it's called the thetis lake monster the thetis apparently he's lake monster thetis yeah, apparently he is the Canadian lizard man. Oh, we so have a he, Canadian yay! lizard man. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, so apparparently he looks a lot like from the uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon, like okay. the Gill Man. It's a great um, movie. There was people know. that were attacked by it uh, in like 1972 or something, and then there was another like yeah, set I'm of sure, witnesses. I'm sure, cocaine had Sorry? nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never know. But uh, yeah, and then there was like another set of witnesses that claimed they saw it, but then like they retracted their statement and they were like, "Oh, we just made it up because we wanted to be on the news," kind of thing. But then, like, so people thought it was a total fake. But then in 2011, another person apparently was attacked by him. Oh, so. For me, when you Might say, like, Canadian, like, lizard man, I'd, like, picture a guy coming out of the lake. It looks like the Black Lagoon is going, how's it going, E? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I, I wish that's the case. Like, Want to go for a terror bud? <laughs> yeah. Let's go up to the Timmies, eh? <laughs> it's actually just Don Cherry on a day off. Don Cherry, yeah. <laughs> that's all he wanted was just some Timmies. That's yeah. it. Let's go for a yeah, dart, bud. Let's go for a dart. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Overlap is... It, I it, might have to Photoshop for a graphic for that. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Overlap, though, when it comes to, like, hearing it from, like, multiple different parts of the world and it has, like, a similar story, you gotta wonder. You're like, maybe. Maybe this is legit. Well, it's like every... I think, like, every small town has, like, that one creepy house. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. that <laughs> either, like, a murderer lives in or the murdered happened there. Or and like, yeah, like yeah. And you gotta dare your buddies to yeah. go like knock on the it's, door. Yeah, or if it's abandoned, you gotta, oh, yeah, spend you, the night. you gotta spend a night or sneak in or whatever. Feels like every oh, small town has that. Yeah, like that feel. That's tradition, though. Like yeah. I feel like if you didn't have that, like it's just wrong. It's also the know. setup for several Scooby Doo episodes. Those darn kids. Yeah, <laughs> meddling kids. Shocks. Those meddling kids. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Like Back to the uh, cultural. Overlap, yep, stories that I screwed up at the beginning of the show. Yeah. Uh, you know the story, like, you know, you go out to the bar. Yep. And then you meet a girl, typically a girl, in the stories that I've seen. And then you wake up in a bathtub full of ice. With your kidney missing. Yeah. Yep. See, I've heard that from the other side, too, that it was a guy. You met a guy at the bar, and it's like yeah. you wake up in a tub full of ice. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty flexible. Yeah, the co common thing oh. is the missing kidney. <laughs> but yeah, India has a their version of that. Oh, do they? Yeah, there's this guy Crazy. who gets a job offer, and uh, it's like, oh, free room and board, but you're gonna be away from your family for a while. It's like, okay, you know. Yeah, but he's making good money for the family. Yep. And then two dudes show up and stick a needle in his arm, Ooh. and then. He wakes up in the hospital. Missing organs. Yep. Yeah. That's messed up. So India's ha India has their version of uh, yep. the ice tub. And 
China mm-hmm. will just make people disappear and yeah, still yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> China doesn't answer any questions. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's a that's a classic one. I think they did that. Um, anyone else remember that Urban Legends movie that came out like ninety seven? Like, yeah, it was kind of corny. Yeah. yeah, it was like it was it was kind of like riding the coattails of the scream. I think so. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because that like they did. That, I think like the guy in the back of the car with the hook hand. Uh, yeah, and there's yeah. like someone honking oh, behind that's a them. Classic. Yeah, it's like, oh. yeah, that's there a classic one. Yeah. I remember I, the one when I was younger that freaked me out the most. I don't know if it's an urban legend, more so a scary story. But um, we like those books that I don't know if anybody else remembers them, but they're called um, scary stories to tell to tell in the dark. Yep. Oh yeah. Those yeah. books. Yeah. So it's like I remember reading it for the first time, and it was about how this girl like was sleeping in her house as one does, you know. Yeah, and. Uh, she put her hand down because she was getting freaked out and her dog slept underneath the bed. And so she like she would put her hand down to see if he would lick it. And he did. But then he woke up. She woke up the next morning and went into her bathroom. And there was like her dead dog hanging from like the shower. Mm. And in blood was written like humans can lick too. And I remember after that, like I was like, my dogs are sleeping on my bed. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no way that I'm going to put myself in that so situation. So sneaking under your bed, start licking your fingers. <laughs> Like no way, like that oh, one. That one freaked me yeah. a lot. I don't know if it. Yeah. Have you seen that uh, scary stories movie? By the way. Yeah. Yes, yes I have. You yeah. saw that in yeah. theater in uh, cameras. Yeah. 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 I liked it. I it, it it brought a lot of like the really creepy ones to life. Like the one that freaked me out the most. Like other than that one, was like the 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 pimple. Story? You went the yeah spiders. Oh, yeah. The spiders. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, no, that's, no, that's no, not no, a fun no, time no. by anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's happened, by the way. Like, yeah. What? People, that's like yeah. That that's not. No. That's not not true. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's happened to people. I, what? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, they I've have been like trying big to... sores or I guess boils or whatever you want to call. I'm not really sure what you call them. Yeah. But they cut them open, yeah. They have a bunch of spiders. People get pour out. eggs laid into them more off, like more than what should happen. Yeah, that's <laughs> more than up. I'm comfortable with. Let's put it that way. But yeah, yeah no, that, that's, that's that's a legit thing. Yeah. Are you serious? Oh my god, guys, yeah. don't no. <laughs> really, you're not punking me right now. Like no, this is no. a thing. It's yeah, it's actually happened. It's rare. I thought I was it's old. definitely. Like, I thought, it's not common. Uh, it I thought I was over my arachnophobia. Now I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> no. I think in Canada you're pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a lot of kind of. Yeah, you got mosquitoes, which yeah. Okay, I mean, we have spiders, obviously, but nothing like that. Or, or maybe, or maybe we do. I have maybe one I that no, I have no, a spider that hangs in my don't. bathroom. Oh, in the you too? Yeah, I call him Fred. Yes. <laughs> Actually, we have one here. Oh yeah, you can't see it. On camera, but there's a bathroom just, just over there, and we got a spider hanging out there. Oh, yeah. It's just hanging out. Why do they like bathrooms so much? Maybe the moisture? I don't know. They probably get enough probably, It's probably how they get in, like the, because they come out through like the tubes. Ooh. Okay. Segway. Can we change the subject? Three, can we, can we, two, one. Se- Segway! Segway! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just going to give an honorable mention okay. to toilet snakes. Yeah. Toilet snakes and alligators or crocodiles and rats. Yep. Yeah, they come up from the toilet. It's a oh. uh, not a yeah not a not a thing. Isn't yep. Isn't that like an urban legend too? Like the alligators living in the sewer system kind of thing. Yeah, that's real. Yep. New York had a problem with it. Oh, uh, you're no really. Yeah. I thought that was a, I 100 percent thought that was just like somebody making something up. Oh, check it out. Yeah. New York. New York. That's... New York. Apparently, if you're in Australia, though, you definitely got to check your toilet for like giant. Oh yeah, un- un- <laughs> yeah. Spiders. You you got to check everywhere you go in Australia. Yeah. Australia yeah. is basically <laughs> like Dump out your death trap. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I could handle Australia actually. Plate spiders, <laughs> yeah, because they're the size no. of plates. Yeah, like dinner plates. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. Uh. Can we not talk about spiders anymore, especially okay. massive ones that could eat my face? Yeah, we can go back to uh, toilet snakes. Yep. Yeah, I'm fine with toilet Spe- snakes. Speak- uh, speaking to of, toilet snakes. of toilets and urban legends, I have one from Japan <laughs> that's oh toilet based. Of course. Oh, okay. be- so oh, God. Uh, apparently, if you use like uh, like if you go into a washroom and you go into like the last stall, 
Apparently, this uh, ghost will show up and ask you if you would prefer red paper or, oh, I've heard this. or blue paper. I've heard okay. about it. Yeah, and if you say red paper, they'll s- slice open the back of your neck. If you say blue paper, they'll choke you to death. So uh, you basically have to say, no, I, I, I don't use paper or something like that. Yeah, I gotta, like, what happened to white paper? <laughs> yeah. How, how come white paper is not an option? <laughs> it's like That's messed up. Red or blue? It's yeah. Like, who the hell is writing on red or blue paper? What, and why is the demon hanging at the washroom? Yeah. 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 And it, he just, he's just really like, uptight about bet, stationery. <laughs> the toilet paper, yeah. That's weird. Like, I thought that was going to go like a Matrix route because it's like, did the red pill? A red pill, blue pill. Blue pill right? <laughs> you eat the red toilet paper. So I was paper. like, <laughs> you, uh, well, no, like, I, I thought it was going to be oh, like, no. yo, if you if you pick the red paper, like, yeah, you trip out or something. If you pick the blue paper, it's like, you just go back to normal or something. I think I got that switched, but like, that's just, that's sketchy. Like, could you imagine somebody coming up to you and it's just like, oh, like, I'm picking my death here, so <laughs> I'm not really in a rush to pick. Yeah. Like, could you stall it? I guess I, or you just don't answer the question. Yeah, like, what if you don't yeah. answer? Yeah. Just be like, like, nah, son. But I'm like, gonna, I'm going to go make some three cheese pasta big. Yeah. Se- <laughs> several times. Um, but yeah, like, a few of those Japanese legends are, are like that, where, like, you'll get asked a question by a ghost, and no matter what you say, like, you're screwed anyway. Yeah, <laughs> damned if you do. Yeah, because they have one that's called the Slit Mouth Girl, so it's apparently. A woman who wears a mask or a scarf, yeah. and she comes up and goes, "Do you think I'm pretty?" And uh, if you say no, she'll kill you later. <laughs> if you say yes, she'll pull down her mask and like, "How about now?" And she'll sl- slit open your mouth like hers. She's got the Glasgow smile, the Joker thing going on. So, like, what if like it's a guy and he's like, "No, oh, sorry, apparently I'm, you're sorry, honey, to, I'm gay." Sp- apparently, you're supposed to say so so. So so that, that's, th- so, that's the so? correct answer. So so is the correct answer. Huh? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> you, you look you're you're like you're plain. Not, you're all right. Like, you're right. You're okay. Yeah. yeah. You're, all, mean, yeah. you're not winning a beauty you're, pageant. You're a six, a solid six. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at a hot you know, five. Yeah. I gotta I gotta wonder. Just hear me out here. Like, how many guys have thought they're like encountering that? That just pretend like, to be spirit, yeah. and then it's like it's like an actual. It was, it's just like a person and you just tell him like yeah you're so so and then you realize you're like oh wait this is like a person this isn't like the ghost that's gonna kill me if i say yes or no. but why is someone coming up to you and asking if you think they're pretty anyway that's gonna drunk girls well, that's have you met a drunk girl yeah. <laughs> yeah someone tried to buy a pepsi a drunk girl tried to buy a pepsi off me once did you have pepsi on you yeah no i went to a concert oh. and i bought like a can of pepsi and this drunk girl goes to me he's like can I buy that off of you? It's like the vending machine is right there. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. Drunk girls are a, we're yeah. a different breed, man. Drunk girls are crazy. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Yeah. But uh, actually, since uh, we're on the topic of Japan. Yep. Did you know that Japan has their own version of the Ouija board? Do they? Yeah. Whoa, really? It is called Kukuri-san. Okay. It's a lot Kukuri-san? less. Kukuri-san? Kukuri-san. Okay. I, th- I hope I think I, I think I'm saying that right, but uh, yeah, it's a more uh, PG, less dangerous version of of the Ouija board. Okay, like you're I, not you're not summoning I, like demons. No, you're just kind of like it's more of like a. You have to worry about those in the washroom, not on the Ouija board. Yeah, right. They're busy. Yeah, yeah. they're ha- they're all hanging out yeah. the toilet, so you're ca- good. They don't care about your like <laughs> piece of paper with a weird coin. Yeah, that you're just kind of moving around. So okay, hold on though. Like, how can how can you guarantee that you're not summoning something that's not a ghost? Like, I feel like that's mm-hmm. that's a that's a strong statement. That's just what they do. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Kukiri san. Cool. It's a <laughs> and instead of like that weird like kind of upside down heart shaped thing. Yep. Yeah, they use a coin. You typically have like about four people, and they just kind of ask questions. And I, I bet you that there's a Japanese horror movie about it somewhere. Yeah, it pro- has to because, be. because there's a Japanese horror movie about everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there is. Watch House. I'm, oh, yeah. Watch House. That's a great House. one. Yeah, I might even throw a clip in. I don't care. I'll, 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 I'll take, the, I'll take the strike. I don't care. I might throw a clip in there, because House is amazing. <laughs> it's like, I get turned into bananas. Oh, I forgot about yeah. that one. It's like the manager or whatever, or their yeah. uh, teacher. Yeah, 
and the, the piano well, eats the girl. Like, yeah. Oh, it's so good. The well. The well? Oh, yeah, I, I, okay, I gotta yeah. throw a clip in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> But like speaking of like Japanese urban legends, wasn't there like I remember there was a movie I watched. I don't know if it's a urban legend, but I thought it was where it was like Somebody uh, takes a picture of you, and if you have something behind you, it's like you're about to die. Yep. Like an oncoming train? Like crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Say again? <laughs> like an oncoming train? A bear? No, no, no. Like, like, a, like a spirit or okay. like a, a ghost of some sort. It's like um, it's if, they, if you take a picture of somebody and they have somebody behind them kind of thing, it's like it's almost like you have a monkey on your back. Okay. And it's like people suffer from like... Uh, like their backs are hurting and they feel like they're carrying all this extra weight and it's because this ghost is like basically sucking the life energy out of you. So it's a, it's really trippy actually. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know uh, Japan has a, their version of Slender Man? No. What? Yeah. Kuni Kuni. Kuni Kuni. Yeah. Is it like the same basis of it kind of thing? It's basically if, um, if Slender Man went to Japan and hooked up with an inflatable arm flailing tube man. <laughs> and they had a daughter. That's an image. Okay. Oh, it's a girl? Yeah. Oh. And she's got like big floppy arms? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's wavy as hell. <laughs> and she just wears this like white kimono and she's kind of flailing around. And, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Japan has her own Slender Man. Hey. Actually, yeah. Slender Man is actually pretty common like around the world. Like everybody has their own version of it. So you got to wonder like what the hell was out there at some point. I blame the internet. Yeah, like it's you got that up in like what twenty ten. Yeah. The creepy pasta of it, yeah. yeah. Like, like it's old, but like no, like there's even stuff like before that, like in um, in history, like in writings and stuff, where it's like they talk about somebody with no face and oh yeah, that kind of stuff. The people with the right? sleep paralysis, yeah. claim that like they see like a dude like, yeah. in a trench coat at the foot of their bed. Apparently, like yeah. Kunikune, Kune, like they only see it like from a distance and never gets that close to you. Okay. It just likes waving at you. Yeah, it's just like flailing. <laughs> it's like, but Slender Man and Kuni Kuni, they both dress nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's so the, I guess they got that going. It speaks, speaks to why. Why would, like, a, a demon be like, like I want to wear a suit and tie. Let me, uh, I want to dress for the position you want, not, right. not the, for the one you have. <laughs> Basically. But at the same time, like, would you go up to, like, I feel like it's more, it's, how do I word this? I don't want to say it's more attractive to go up to somebody who's like dressed up and stuff, but like, I feel like you feel safer when somebody's in like more formal attire than I don't not. Know. The fact that he has no face might uh, kind of turn me off. A yeah. Bit. Well, yeah, of course, but at the same time, like, I feel like that's like the that's the pull, right? Yeah. But like, if Sle if Slender Man was wearing like a potato sack. Instead of a suit, <laughs> I would just assume he's the town drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. I, so like, I maybe would assume that's that I'm why. drunk at that point. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, just going back to Japan, for one more thing. Oh, I'll, uh, go, I'll go to Japan all day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good. I, I know that you're a big fan of uh, Doug Jones, Rachel. Uh, mm -hmm. The Pale Man was actually based on a Japanese uh, legend. No way. Yeah. Apparently, it's about like an old man who. Uh, got mugged, and he wished like he had like he would he would have been able to see him like if he had eyes in his hands. So apparently he came back as like a demon with eyes in his hands, as one does. Yep. You know, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's super cool. Yep. Yeah. No, but also Japan. terrifying. Japan has a lot of cool cool stuff. Yeah, I you watched do. like three hours of Japanese urban legends last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wild the entertainment. Cool yeah, there. check it out. They also do horror really well. Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, oh yeah. love them, love them, love you, Japan. If uh, there's probably no one from Japan watching this, but if you are, yes, hello. Send my send my uh, send my uh, best wishes and regards. Seriously, <laughs> though, if you want to watch like something creepy Japanese, uh, 
it's not really watch. Uh, read anything by Junji Ito. Uh, he's yes. a manga guy. Oh, okay. And he's, I don't think I know he that. has like really messed up visuals. Yeah. Yeah. I've, have, have you seen an interview with him though? Yeah. Out of curiosity? I, I think I did. Like he seems. He, he's like a very, like he's very opposite of what his work is. Yeah. Like people kind of joke and say he's like sunshine in human form, but then you read his stuff and you're like, this dude's yeah. twisted. <laughs> like, yeah, this guy can make the concept of spirals terrifying. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. Actually, I think I think Shutter, I think Shutter did like a, uh, not a movie, but like a maybe like a five episode thing where it's like they actually took some of his manga and uh, created it into like yeah. Uh, there, there is episodes. An, there is a anime of his uh, of his stories. Uh, I think the manga holds up better though than the actual anime. Yeah. I feel like that's a like that's a, yeah. it's almost the same as saying like is like the the book is better than the movie. It's like I always find like I'm a, like the manga like the book like that kind of stuff is way more intriguing. Yeah. Like I don't think the anime is, is bad. Like I enjoyed it, but there's something about the manga that's just it's more terrifying for some reason. Yep, it uh, definitely feels kind of cosmic. Kind of he's almost like a modern kind of Lovecraft. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, but better. I gotta, I gotta... I am sleeping on this. I gotta yeah. check this out. Yeah, yeah look up uh, Junji Ito. Okay, I, yeah. I, I will. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Agamani Fault, I think, is a good good one to start with. Have Have you see, seen that one, Rachel? The the one with the the holes in the side of the mountain that are human shaped. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, yep. It's good, but it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I've probably seen the meme. Like it's like a guy climbing into the holes. This hole is for me. It belongs to me. It's my shape. Okay, speaking of human-shaped holes. You okay? Not a very good segue. <laughs> I'm not going to throw it this Not a good segue. <laughs> it was good. But uh, on the topic of holes, and specifically sa shaped holes. Okay. Dead woman in the box spring in a motel. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's oh, happened. I've heard that one. More than once. Oof. Yeah. I know it's... It, I I use the whole like human shaped hole because in the movies it's always like perfectly yeah cut out it's, yeah, yeah it's like, the, like yeah. you're hiding a gun inside a book yeah like you know, it's perfectly yeah. a gun shaped hole yep but yeah no that's uh, actually happened it was um oh I should uh, it was a James and Rhonda Sargent in Memphis Tennessee okay it's coming back to me yeah they were complaining about the smell it's like yo this motel like, room reeks yeah it's like it smells horrible. It smells like dead people in here and then and even like i guess uh they noticed that um this like owners or staff or management have been aware of the smell like there was like bounce sheets or maybe not specifically bounce but yeah like air fresheners and stuff yeah like just stuck in like the corners and like they they were aware of the smell yeah and then people like just over time just just kept complaining about this horrid stench in this room and finally the uh the owners were just like Fuck it. oh okay should we start a swear jar <laughs> yes ding probably need to yep. yep i'm gonna have to bleep that out sorry guys <laughs> oh oh and we could use it to buy some baloney yeah yeah there we go with our baloney fun yeah so the more can i swear like the more baloney we get hey can we like can we invest in something better please no 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 what ham Oh man! Imagine Stop. if we got a baloney sponsor. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's do that. That yep. is our new mission. <laughs> baloney sponsor. But going back to the dead woman. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So finally, the uh, owners were just like, "All right, we gotta call the cops." And uh, yeah, yeah. This is just the one case. Like, it's happened more than once, but just this one case I'm bringing up. Yeah, yeah they, speaking of that. They had multiple I'm, people like sleeping on top of a dead woman. Mother of four too, which is oh, really ooh. rough. I don't know if she like I, I know I know like the urban legend kind of says like, oh, it's a prostitute like in the box ring, but I don't know. I don't think this woman was. Yeah. She was a mother of four. That's gross. And That's she was upsetting. there for a she was like, there for a while. It, like the fact but like the thing that blows my mind is like that the owners were so cheap that they didn't wait. Or they didn't do anything. Yeah, they're sooner. just like, sticking they up were bad like, sheets. Yeah, right. I don't want to. So deal. like, I, for me personally, like, I watch way too much true crime, so maybe I'm like way off basis here. But like, if you as the owner keep hearing people complain about it, and all you do is put like air fresheners and stuff about it, yeah. it's like you would have had to know something happened in there. 
I mean, like the, you, like, they caved eventually. That's like to me, yeah. like that. That to me, like sounds like you're 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 part of the guilty party. Well, they probably didn't kill her. You know, yeah. They, they definitely well, didn't. You never know. It definitely I, took them way too long to do something. About I don't know. I, I can appreciate yeah. how lazy some people can be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, the fact true. that they kept but renting speak- the room as well. Is like, yeah. Like there, like yeah. a, a lot of people slept on top of a dead woman. Yeah. Could you imagine finding that out? Like I haven't. I would. I'm, I'm, how would you also? How would you not feel that though? Well, she doesn't well, have like her arm stuck out. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, but like if if you're laying down and then you lay down on some like on, like on top of it, it's like yeah, you have the bed and stuff. But wouldn't you feel like the irregu- irregularities and like the well, mattress and everything? Actually, uh, I've when I was looking when I was do, looking this up, uh, there was some stories say she was under the bed and some say she was in the box spring. Okay, but so it depends on. Okay, how okay. would you not see a dead body underneath a bed? Like, yeah. it's, it's got to be off Some the floor. Some people don't look. But it would be right like, there. It, yeah, like, the, the, go, ma- go, like going, the cleaning yeah. service should. It, like if they stuck the vacuum <laughs> under it. Yeah, like, what so do I keep hitting? I'm, I'm going to assume she was in the, the box, box spring. spring. Yeah. Yeah, but like even if she was in the box spring, though, like would you not feel something like laying on top I of know, the if bed? If sleeping yeah. at a crappy motel that yeah, puts like, bounce sheets up, I wouldn't have high expectations for the bed. like, eh. Crappy I mean, tr- true, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I feel like I would have been like, something's wrong. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah. You probably wouldn't. But speaking of um, hotels and I mean, I've never slept dead bodies. In Memphis, but, uh, yep. It's a segue. Haha. Uh, the Cecil <laughs> Hotel. Yes. Oh, Ali- Alisa Lamb. About the, yep, Lisa about Lam the or whole, or? Uh, the whole, like, uh, there's the dead body in the water supply. Yeah, they kind of. People have de- kind of debunked that. What do you mean? Uh, there's a YouTuber. I think he's from actually Japan, I think. But he went to the Cecil Hotel yep. and showed, like, yeah, like, I can get on this roof, no problem. The water tank was open. And he filmed all this. Like, you yep. can look this up. And uh, apparently... Uh, uh, is this... Uh, sorry, Lisa Lam? I'm going to say Miss Lam. Alisa Lam. Alisa? Alisa? Okay. E, I just want to make Lisa. sure I get that right. But uh, apparently she was a... They checked her Instagram and Facebook, and she was really fond of uh, taking pictures from rooftops. Okay. So she was already up there. Yeah. And, and she had a lot of mental, mental health issues, and she stopped taking her meds. And Yeah, the mystery's kind of been uh, demystified. Yeah. Oh, no, I, was, I wasn't talking about, like, her case specifically. I was talking more so about the urban legend of, like, the hotel having the... Um, like the, like the dead body in the water system, and like how that has actually happened. Like with, for the example of the Cecil Hotel, like people were drinking that water, they were using that to wash their dishes, they were yeah. Yeah. having showers. Like, could you imagine finding that out? Like, oh god, I'm drinking human juice. Yeah, I wouldn't voluntarily yeah. do that. Yeah, no. Like, but no, like, and the whole case with um, Elisa Lam is like heartbreaking either way. Like, even if, she, like, yeah, even if it, it was the fact yeah, that she was is, mentally yeah. unstable and that's what, like, ended up causing it, like, it's still such a heartbreaking story because it was like this young girl, like, had so much life left to live. And it was like, it was just, yeah, she was it's in, just heartbreaking. She was obviously in trouble. Yeah. And it just, it was a perfect storm of bad occurrences. Yeah. But it's crazy that, like, there's urban legends out there that it's, like, based in truth. Like, the dead body in the box ring, the dead body in the water supply, and then also Candyman. Yep. That's another one that's pretty messed up. Yep. He's, like, the whole reason people check check their kids' candy on Halloween, because this guy guy was trying to, like, kill his neighbor's kids. Because he was, like... Was was he trying to kill his own kid? No. Well, okay, no, yeah. No, yeah, you're totally right. He was trying to kill his own kid because his own kids because he was so in debt that he actually took life insurance policies out on his wife, his two kids, and it, I think himself as well. But he wasn't going to use the one on himself, so he's like, "If I kill the kids one at a time, then we can get the money, and then me and my wife can go live happily ever after," kind of thing. But yeah, you put That's like I think up. rat poison in yeah. like the yeah, pixie sticks. It, it, yeah, pixie sticks. Yeah, yeah. And now everybody has to check their candy on Halloween. Yeah, like the whole yeah. razor blade in the apple thing. Is, yeah. No, yeah. Kind of and it's it's crazy how much that, like, that story, like, the urban legend was, like, created from that. But it was also, like, how much that actually messed with 
Halloween. Like, and like, like that whole, you know, like it's supposed to be this innocent thing where it's like, oh, you go to the neighbor's house, you get candy, like whatever. But now people are so concerned that it's like somebody's trying to kill their kid. Like, that's crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, rumors are uh, powerful things. Yep. Gossip but I, has the only the only candy that we were allowed to have like right out of the, like the the Halloween like loot was uh, rockets because they were the only ones that would like melt and stuff like that. So my parents were always like, "These are the safest ones." But like, yeah, like we always what? got our candy check. I don't know about, about you guys. Aren't rockets like the hard candy? Yeah, thing? they're like those little things that no one likes. Yeah, they're like I, oh, I love them. I, really? Yeah, I, you, you, you can have best. mine this Halloween. I dude. will. <laughs> Rockets are my favorite. Oh, yeah, they're all yours, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Rockets are the best. But yeah, no, they're like the little, they look like little, um, they're kind of like Pez, but like round. Yeah. 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 But what is, what is the melting? Yeah. How, how hot were your Halloween? Yeah. No, no, no. Like I'm saying like if somebody tried to put something in the candy, like in the sense of like poisoning it or something, it's like it would melt it. So it's like you always knew it was safe. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Right. Basically, uh, for us, it was like if it, anything's sealed, you're good to go. The best was yeah. the the best was the house that gave you a can of pop, or a full size candy bar. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, about not to that say fun size stuff. Yeah, uh, I remember there was like one neighborhood we went to, and it's like like back to back houses. It was like big bag of chips, big chocolate bar, and like couple cans of pop and it's like you always had to hit couple those houses because they were like whoa, lined whoa. up hold on let's this place we, we gotta make crazy. a field trip like this yeah I mean, find, find this neighborhood like what it was wicked it yeah. was the like it was the Sounds rich like area in, in yeah. town yeah it was crazy because it's like they would like load up too because they knew how busy they were going to be but yeah like they gave out like big big bags of chips nice it was wild i was like how like how much money are you making that <laughs> You could splurge on bags of chips Man, for like Halloween. Maybe, maybe they're just really into Halloween, and God bless them for it. Yep, that is, sounds like they're crushing oh, that's, it. That's goals right there. Like for me personally, I would love to be that house. Yeah, like I'd be sick. Oh, I gotta. Okay, we're we're going on a, on a tangent here because that's what we always do. Yep, it's kind of the point of the show. <laughs> well, not really, but it just happens. Well, kind of, kind of. But uh, yeah, I remember I was, uh, when I was a kid. I I don't know, probably like six or seven. And uh, went to this one house when I was trick or treating. Yeah. And uh, they opened the door, and I was greeted by two people in. I hope this doesn't get us in trouble. Uh, two people in Ku Klux Klan outfits. Oh jeez. No way. Like, they they they, were, they look legit. They were wizards for Halloween. Yeah. They didn't say a word. My mom, like, backed up, and they kind of, like, pulled me, like, she's like, okay, no, yeah, no, 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 let's no. get away from these people. But before that happened, they just threw a quarter, like a coin, yeah, like 25 cents, into my, my little uh, bag there, and then just shut the door. That, that's crazy. You don't, like, w- were they, like, legit, or was it, like, really ill? I, I don't know if they bad, were like, really. Bad, costumes. Yeah, like, I don't know if they are really committed to the role. I, 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 like, I, outside yeah. of trick-or-treating, I've never Could been Could be, like, a bunch before. of, like, college students having, you know, having a joke. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, being when stupid, you're six but, like. And you just open up the door, and there's these two clans, big people dressed in, like, clans outfits. Like, yeah. I, I didn't That's say anything. Up. They didn't say anything. <laughs> no. My mom was, didn't say anything. They, just, they just well. li- literally just grabbed a quarter, threw it in my bag, and shut the door. Well, so I I don't know. Ma- maybe it was a prank. I've never considered that option. Yeah, no, it's yeah. Because it was just there's I no mean, dialogue exchange to like that. Yeah, it was impossible that, to read. Kinda, yeah, so same, it could have been same a time. Punk. Like, what like what what like era were were you trick or treating? It was this like in the eighties or like nineties or like what was uh, the... this? Would have been maybe late eighties. Okay, matters. like I, I know. maybe it was a really bad joke, maybe. But like I don't know. Like that's yeah. ballsy. It seems weird. Like, I've never forgotten it. Yeah, that's, so that's for sure. It wow. made an impression. Yeah. yeah, like I've never, I've never had that kind of incident. But I remember being younger, and we were going to this one house, and um, we went in, and uh, they were like, "Oh, you guys are old enough. You have to go through like the the haunted house part." And we were like, "What?" And they were like, "Yeah, you have to earn your candy." Meanwhile, my sister was young enough that they're like, "Okay, here you go, sweetie. Like, here's your candy." And I was like, "That's bullshit." But okay. Yeah. Um, and I remember we went through the back. And these guys did, like, an insane job of this, right? Because it's like, you were like, okay, like, I guess I have to go to the backyard to go get my candy. And you'd go in. It's like their gate was here, and then to the right was their porch. 
And it was just like a quick little yeah. thing, right? So it didn't look scary. But they made us go up the porch and they had like bloody butcher um, curtains and somebody actually cutting up meat with an axe like in that in that part. And we were like, whoa, so they're multitasking. This yeah. is this is messed up. <laughs> I was like, OK, we're getting and then he ready. Came, it's like, gonna he saw. But like the thing is, though, he saw us and he didn't like just kind of like meander up and go like, oh, right. Like he went after us like we had to run down like with the bloody axe in hand, run down, go across like the the yards. We had to stay in the path. And then a guy came up from underneath the goalie's net and it looked like he didn't have legs and he was bloody as all could be and was just like help me like he chopped my legs up he's 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 gonna kill me and we were like i was 13 <laughs> and i was like no screw this and like we ran out and then like the guy was laughing his ass off it was like so did you like did you have fun we were like no, no. <laughs> like you guys had like a guy with an ass come after us. Yeah. Had, oh it was bad and then like another guy like at the end kate jumped out in front of the gate and revved like a, a chainsaw like there was nothing on the chainsaw but like he did the I, I don't think I yeah. don't think I've screamed so much in my life. I was so terrified. And well, like at the end of it, he I gave would have us, been like, all about that. Yeah. But like he gave us like a tiny like Snickers bar at the end of it. Like we didn't <laughs> even get trauma. like a handful of candy or anything. Yeah. Like it was not worth yeah. cheap worth doing it. No, he could have gone through like three houses for the time that would have taken. <sighs> I was so mad. But yeah, the guy like it, he was like he was having a great time. Fun Meanwhile, like Snickers. we're yeah. like crying, just losing our crap because it was just like this guy's gonna kill us. Really fun about it. Yeah, yeah. It's disappointing. I heard nothing. It's you disappointing guys size. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the fun size. You know, they call it fun size stickers, but it's not really fun. It's just smaller. Yeah, it should oh. be disappointing. Well, what's, size. The, what's the fun? Yeah, right. So yeah. it's like if if it was like for a full size candy bar, then I, I would have been like, all right, cool. But like for like, I'll never forget that getting a tiny tiny Snickers and just being like after all that work. <laughs> yeah. Wow, <laughs> um, it was brutal. Speaking but, like, of like, I gotta, I gotta respect the craft though, because like he, he went ham. Like that place was terrifying. And speaking of Halloween though, if you ever like look up the origins of Halloween, like not not going back as like far as like the pagan stuff, but like like the early nineteen hundreds, it's like. <laughs> It's scary. Yeah, I haven't. I, so I don't. Yeah, know yeah, no. About. Look it up, like, cause like people it's were doing like messed up stuff, like for Halloween. Yeah. It, it's like it's really, really changed from like like dressing up in clan. Well, that's pretty messed yeah. up. But like, no, there was like people who were like, giving out like actual like when it came to tricks. Yeah. There was actual tricks the, going the, yeah, on. Like the it wasn't tr just trick a... or treat part. The trick part was huge. <sighs> it was yeah. yeah. Back when dangerous well, was fun. Basically, it started as like a, a begging ritual. And yep. So I may have some more. Yeah, pretty much. Really? Yeah. yeah. And so you know, trick or treat. So you know, we didn't. Yeah, we I didn't guess. Give yeah. kids this, some food and break your window. Yeah. Yep. Or they get uh, them. Or burn down else. your house. I always felt bad yeah. for the house that gives you like a box of raisins and thinks that they're like, like doing like that that you like it. I mean, it, it's offset yeah. by like the fifty packs of rockets. Yeah. Half loaves are mine. You're welcome. Okay. But uh, we also yeah, got because yeah, we always had like that one, one or two houses. It's like, oh, here's some raisins. It's like, oh. I, I never minded the raisins, honestly. I yeah, hated them. I hate. Them. I, I never yeah. really gave any thought to the raisins. We used, yeah, we used, it sounds like all right. Oh, okay, uh, and um, okay. So, to the houses that gave us raisins, we would put them in our mouth to get them wet and throw them at their windows so they'd stick. <laughs> you were those. Guys. I was not You're a like, good this kid. isn't good candy. Yeah. This isn't even candy. <laughs> Confessions, and I felt I kind of felt bad though because like they thought they were like oh kids like raisins right like there were older people they didn't really know that yeah they were like hey we're Aww, we're helping that out. makes it even worse we're doing yeah you know, we're giving them basically fruit yeah yeah, yeah we we, like, didn't, we didn't appreciate that we I remember we had a we had a dentist on our block so oh no <laughs> we, we, oh, just, we, we got those. toothbrushes and floss oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah I had one of those I actually like that one yeah, no that's something useful I thought that was great as long as you did get like never... multiple ones of that yeah, yeah. if you get like a whole like straight, <laughs> straight <dentist. laughs> <Just> dentist <laughs> <laughs> the great now I got yeah. now I got a dozen toothbrushes. What are you cool. gonna do with all this floss? Like, really? <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, no, like I I always thought like when people gave you raisins and stuff, it was just for me like we were always thought or, like taught that it was like it was the thought that count, right? That's like they still had something for you. It was like they were way better than the house that just had their lights off. Yeah. And like you could see them in the living room. You're like, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. which is me these days. <laughs> yeah, that's. that's <laughs> I tried when I, when I was living in Calgary. I was all stoked, like, all right, got a yeah. cul-de-sac. There's kids around. 
bought a bunch of candy, you know, got the lights up, got the pumpkin carved. I was all stoked. Like I, I mostly lived in apartment buildings my whole life. Yeah, the same here. Yeah. But yeah, I had a house. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh man, like, I was, I was, I was probably the most excited, more excited <laughs> than the, the kids. kids. <laughs> we had like one baby and like, uh-huh. and then a toddler and I was just like, oh, it's, it's tri- like handfuls. It's, yeah. I was like, here, take it. Yeah. Like is trick or treating dead? It seems to have kind of fallen uh-huh. off. Yeah. I hope it's, that's, that was Plus they, yeah, I would... they keep like moving it now. Cause like, like they won't do it if it's like on a school night or stuff like that now. It's like, yeah, which, okay, by the way, no, that's wrong. You have to go through that tradition. It's like, if it's on a Monday night and you're exhausted the next day, that's, that's, yeah, cool. that's why like, you eat all that sugar. Yeah, you get your butt yeah. out there. You got to hustle. You, you, yeah. you got to grind. Yeah. Like, come on. Those pillowcases yeah, like, I think aren't going to fill themselves. Yeah. You got to earn that candy. Yeah. yeah. I remember, what was it? My last year I was in my apartment and I was so excited. Cause like I had a friend who had like little kids and I was like, I've never got the chance to like give candy out and i was like oh this is my first time and i remember it was hilarious because like i ended up giving the kids like most of the bowl because i was like there's nobody else going to come in the apartment like to do this so it's like i remember i just grabbed two handfuls for each kid and i guess for like the rest of the night they wouldn't stop talking about it like the kids they were just like oh my god we have to go back to rachel's house like (laughs) she has so much candy (laughs) but like i remember being that kid and being so excited when like the adults were like, here's like a ton of candy, right? And it's yeah. like, I've always wanted to do that. So, I yeah. It's tell cool you how sucks. you can see it on the other side. Being sick on Halloween. I, I've been like, oh, one Halloween I, I was stomach sick. Don't think And I was heart, been. I was like heartbroken. Oof. That's yeah. the worst. Yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever been sick on Halloween. Yeah. And even if I were, I, I would just push through it. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no I, it's I Halloween. Was, like, there was no way it was happening. Like, uh, I think, like, I, I was sick. So, uh, you know, I, I think Wait, you were my, sick or six? No, I was sick. Oh. And I think I was maybe even six, but um, yeah, I remember like my mom put like a bit of like I wasn't feeling that well, so my mom put it like a little bit of makeup on me or for what I think I was a cat or something. <laughs> and, <You're> being, yeah, <laughs> what's the guy from Kiss? <laughs> Peter uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> something. But yeah, like I remember like putting that on and then just like. I don't know much. Like about half hour later, my stomach started to empty. It's like, no, oh that's boy. this is not happening. So this wasn't in the cards, huh? Nope. So yeah, no. I, I, I lost to Halloween. I would I'm cancel sorry. Christmas before I cancel Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. I remember my sister was sick one year, and we felt terrible. So <laughs> my dad, he was, he was the one who usually took us out, and uh, my dad, he like brought a pillowcase around. I'd like he'd actually come up to like the front with us and he'd be like trick or treat and they're like aren't you a little old he's like no he's like I have a daughter at home and like for the most part people understood and gave him like candy yeah. uh, but there was one house we went to they made him like answer a bunch of trivia questions about Halloween <laughs> okay before they gave him the candy because they were just like no way like you're not giving this to your kid but I remember coming home and my sister saw the bag of candy my dad got her and she was like so excited because my dad like felt terrible because yeah. she was like ill right so we were like no like we have to get her some candy and like i told her i'm like oh i'll split my candy with you my dad's like no 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 he's like i got it but he like i know like for my dad i don't know if it was like this with your guys's parents but like whoever took us out trick-or-treating had like the halloween tax so they they got to pick some candy out first and then they're like Whoa, okay now you can have no this, no right? no i'm afraid not oh yeah, yeah. No, oh no, yeah no, no, no. yeah well for totally. me I, I had two older brothers so i i generally go with them and then yeah. by the time, like, they aged out, I was kind of old enough to go on my own. Yeah. So. That's fair. Well, like, when yeah, I was, no, we totally had when I was a kid, like, candy cakes. you'd even, like, you'd hit up, like, 7-Eleven and they'd give out stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, stores would get yeah, involved. Yeah, corner stores. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I missed out on Actually, that. that's where you really? would probably get, like, a bag of Coke and chips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they were. They were, they were generous. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, you hit up 7-Eleven, you hit the Max. Yep. I don't know if they're still around. That's messed up. I can't believe I missed out on that. Yeah, Actually, yeah. If, like me. on the topic of like Halloween and stuff, what are your guys' opinions about like older kids doing Halloween, like trick or treating? No. Nope. Like, what's the appropriate no. age to like? Stop? No, Chris has has opinions on this. Get the hell out of here! No way. How, okay. Well, if you have to up, shave, like, yeah, trick or treating it, you should be you should be the chaperone, not the trick or treater. Yeah. Oh no! See, I disagree. I feel like if no. like if you're old enough to have a job, to, then sorry? get the hell out of here. If you're old enough to have a job, well, what do you have a cutoff age? Sixteen. Yeah, what's the cutoff age? No. Yeah, uh, and, 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 and that's even that's, that's even being it. pretty liberal. Yeah, 
I was thinking like 13, 14. Yeah, like I, 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 I'll go there. Yeah. Absolutely. You guys are, you guys are harsh. Well, I, like, I feel like if when I was fourteen, I was the one giving out candy from the house. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's for kids. Yeah, I'd, I'd still dress oh, up. I like, I'd, I'd dress up as something to, to give out candy. It's, like, it's for kids. No, it's I for s- teenagers. I solidly went until, I think it was grade 10, was like the last what? year I went. Ooh. So you're like 16, yeah. 17? No, grade 10 is 16. Yeah, 16. But at the same time, like, I wasn't the kid to party, right? So it's like, I still like doing that kind of stuff. So I felt like it was better no like, no 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 I'm yeah sorry. I'm totally sorry. No, no, no no i disagree no, there's no room I feel for like negotiation this no, one I've, you should be ashamed no, no. of yourself you were stealing <laughs> you were st- you were stealing candy oh, wow. from kids who deserved it you did not hot takes no. yeah hot takes definitely not i think if like if people still want to trick or treat like i don't care how old you are like if you want to come and say trick or treat because you're just like you just want to do it here's, like, my, still here's my caveat if you dress up if, oh yeah, yeah. Of course. don't just show up, up in your jean jacket yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, like, we were, we were dressed up. Dressed like, up I went, no. for me, still Halloween, Halloween is, like, the best, right? So it's, like, we always dressed up. Like, and I remember last, that year, I knew it was going to be, like, my last one. So I went, like, hard yeah. on the costume. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. I, was, like, I don't think anyone's dogging dressing up for Halloween. Yeah. But if you're trick-or-treating, you need to be yeah. a child. No. You, you can't just go around. You so can't be in your 20s asking adults for candy. I'm not saying in your 20s. I'm saying, like, as a teen, though. Like, no, I think no, that's fine. No. No. Hard no. Yeah. Hard no. A- agree to disagree on this one, then, Chris. Teenagers. Uh, we're teenagers. simply a Halloween podcast. Yeah, by this way. has nothing to do with Urban Legends, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> well, no, we, were talking about, we were talking about the Candyman, and then it kind of just trailed off. Yeah. Yeah, no, if you're, a, te- if you're a teenager and you're trick-or-treating, you're stealing candy out of the mouths of children. And no, I disagree. Yes, you yeah. absolutely disagree. are. I'm, I'm kind of in between. It's like, just don't Candy's be a, limited. It's not be, a, unlimited a teen, You can be a teenager, but don't be a lazy teenager that doesn't dress up. See, I'm with Mike on that. Like, I feel like if you're going to do, if you're going to go trick-or-treating, like, you got to go, like, out. You got to, like. Hard 16 cut off date, though. If you're in high school, you, sh- you should not be trick-or-treating. Yeah. You should be helping your Some younger sibling. Don't... And no, but some people don't like them. don't have siblings, and some people still enjoy the tradition. So why would you take it away from them just because of a certain age? Like I think that's bullshit. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Anyway, there's totally one. is. You're robbing children will, of their You're not joy. robbing children. <laughs> yes, you are. There, there is a limited Ow! supply not- of candy. <laughs> if you have a bunch of 18-year-olds showing up to your door, and they're like, yo, give me your candy. And then a five-year-old shows up and they're like, sorry, man. Those basic adults just took all my candy. Sorry, five-year-old. I don't know what to tell you, but your Halloween you, sucks. No, Be sure thing, to though, comment like, you sh- No, no, let opinion. me finish here. Usually, like, the older kids are going out later anyways. The younger kids are usually the first people at your door. So they're not missing out. If anything, the older kids who are going out later are the ones that are going to end up being like... There's no such thing as older sorry, kids. Yes, there there's is. There's no old kids. <laughs> there's no old kids. There's kids and then there's Except teenagers. for the, that Robin Williams movie where you... Oh, God, really? Oh, yeah, that was terrible. See, I, I like how Mike is like kind of repping this. <laughs> and yeah, right, ben, Benjamin and Button was Mike's an old like, kid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should probably get back on topic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But agree to disagree on the trick or treating. Yeah, That's all I'm going to say. Uh, whose turn was it? I don't remember. I don't think we were taking turns. So we're just going to. I think we were just throwing. Yeah. Okay. Mike, what do you do? You have any more? Um, I feel like Chris and I have done a lot of talking in the last little while. So we'll see, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're kind of hogging the, yeah, hogging uh, the hogging the, the this uh, fun size Snickers. Uh, apparently there's oh. one for BC. Um, apparently there's Ooh. a place called like a, the Forbidden Plateau. Ooh. And uh, interesting. I've yeah, never heard this. What happened was uh, back in back in the olden days, uh, uh, people would like if they went off to war or whatever, they would like leave their family on this plateau to be safe. This is this is like 1700s uh, Native American uh, era okay. stuff. So apparently, one tribe when they came back after like leaving their family on this plateau, like the family's completely gone. I'm, I don't mm. know if they made that sound though. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not. that's that's the official sound of suddenly disappearing. If you ever hear that, you're, you're already <laughs> yeah, you're, you're already taken. Yeah. It's too late. Yep. Yeah. 
That's that would be terrifying. I think that's like on a side. Like, I think it's on Vancouver Island somewhere. That would be so scary. Cool. But see, like the problem is, the minute you were like the Forbidden Plateau, like the thought crossed my mind of like I need to check it out. Yeah. Because like the minute you name something like that, it's like I feel like there's a little bit of curiosity. You like you want to find out, yeah. like why. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> are, she, are you cutting out? Or? No. No. Oh, okay. No. All right. Uh, but, actually, I can uh, if we if we want to stay on the uh, CanCon. Yeah. I got some stuff too. So. Oh, you do. Awesome. Yep. But you go. Uh, one for my T dot Toronto friends. Leaping lawyer. Leaping lawyer. Or Gary. I don't Ho think I've heard that. No, Gary Hoy. Okay. What's this one? Uh, well, his name was. Gary, hoy. Oh. Obviously. Hi, Gary. <laughs> but uh, oh, he's dead. He uh, he was a lawyer. Yeah. Worked in uh, I think the Toronto Dominion Plaza. It's 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 a bunch of skyscrapers downtown Toronto. Yep. Okay. And uh, I guess he was really excited about how strong these windows are. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard of this. Yeah. And uh, he would, on occasion, throw himself hard. Into the window. Against the window, yeah. You just right into the window. Like, hey, check it out. Boom. Didn't break. What? And then uh, eventually he was showing some students. I can't remember what students they were, but uh, the young people, like students. And uh, he's like, hey, check it out. And then he threw himself against the window. And it didn't hold up. Nope. But the window didn't break. No. It, it just fell out of the frame. Yep. So the window, like, it came as... Came as advertised, but I guess there were screws loose, and from the twenty fourth floor, yep, of the skyscraper, and, and that's surviving that. He fell to his death. Yep. Oh my God! What? Yeah, Torontonians will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that... of this as well. I didn't know it was a Toronto thing though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's a. Uh, that is so messed up. Really stoked like about how... the windows, and I mean the windows. Okay. I... The window's reputation was fine, but yeah. yeah, it was just like more of a structural thing. And uh, okay, the, the screws like, came loose and he... Right outside. Not good. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I have never heard that before. That is messed up. Yep. Yeah. Like, like, wow. Like, like, what what goes through your mind when you're just like, oh, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> but not just that, but like... Like, I get it. Like, oh, cool. Like, these windows aren't going to break. But, like, I don't think I'd be so excited about it to throw myself against the window every once in a while just so, you know, like, oh, yeah, you'd test be, it out. Yeah. It'd be like a party trick. Yeah. It'd be like look a, how strong these a, windows are. Yeah, it'd be a gag. Be, oh, look, yeah. I didn't fall to my death. From the no, 20, man, it's, it's I am, did. No. I feel like that's... No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Can't call. Um, mm. I got an issue with heights um, anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing that. I, I probably would be the guy doing that. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. See, I can't. No way. Because, like, it's just, like, it takes that one... Yep. One, one tiny thing. Yeah. And you're, Loose you're screws, gone. in this case. Yep. Yeah, like, so, no. Like, I, I could trust it, but I ain't, I ain't testing it. Yeah. 100%. No way. Gary Hoy, the leaping lawyer. Yep. Uh, well, I don't really have happened. anything crazy about a leaping lawyer, but um, I have like another Native American legend that's uh, pretty terrifying. Yeah. Okay. It's ba based out in Ontario. Uh, I've talked about it before, but the Wendigo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That's one that's really really terrifying. Actually. Is that an and urban I... legend though, or is that just a legend? I don't know because it's like from what I've seen, I've I've seen stuff say that it's a it's a Canadian legend. I've seen people saying it's just an urban legend. Like it's it's a mix of stuff. So I'm not entirely sure. I think it probably worse. leans more towards yeah. the legend side, though. Yeah, it's more folklore. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the thing is terrifying. Yeah, like, it's, I, yeah it's still cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, got, like it's got some great it? lore it's behind like, it. Yeah, like the the lore behind it is incredible because it's like I don't know if like like anybody's like. Being, that has seen like Wendigo movies, like horror movies, but it's like they always portray it a certain way, and holy crap, they couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> From like what I've read and stuff, it's actually way more terrifying. So I'm shocked they didn't go off the lore. But it sounds like the guy who made like the first Wendigo horror movie had no idea what it was about, so he kind of just winged it on the design. Yeah, unfortunately, like yeah, he um, there's he different. He made uh, it like it's different versions Sorry? for sure. Yeah. 
but from like the one that I've read and that seems like the most consistent is like from um, some of the North, uh, Native American tribes in Ontario, actually, where it's like you can become a Wendigo because of like. Oh, that's an option. Hold on, like, what? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can become it because it's like what it, what it is is like it's basically the Wendigo is the personification of like really bad people. So it's like you oh, you're very like uh, greedy, you're very gluttonous, and that like you know you live in excess kind of thing. And so basically the Wendigo is um, uh, basically just eats human flesh yep. and just keeps eating and eating and eating because it's like it's it's to show like the uh, how like gluttonous you can be kind of thing. And like it's crazy cause, like, because like because they are cannibalistic and stuff so too. Yeah. Sorry? I guess it's our fault for tasting so good. I don't know. Lime pork. I don't know. <laughs> I go but um it. but yeah, it's like they, they end up growing and stuff to like these like fifteen foot tall like giant monsters and they're so fast you can't see them kind of thing right but like if the wendigo um can sense that you're a horrible person like that you're like you have a bad heart it's like they'll go after you yeah so it was it was kind of like one of those stories that you tell your kids so they don't turn into the bad people bad people but yeah it's crazy because apparently like they're these ice giants like they're massive they have like really long sharp claws glowing teeth and they can possess people too, which I had no idea about before. So I was like, "That's that's Great. not a fun now time." Now something else I got to worry about. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So you got but um, deer, bear, yeah. cougars. Yeah, when to go? When to go? Yep. When to go? But uh, the thing is too that was like that was really, I don't know why it it creeped me out the most, but it's like for the most part, it's like um, if they can't find food, like if they can't find people, they eat their own lips. So all you see. Like, people who've claimed to see them or in legend um, has been passed down through, like, um, Native American history is that you just see these gnashing teeth with, like, no lips. Like, it's, it's, it's really scary <laughs> from the sounds of it. Like, I would not want to mess with a Wendigo. No. And I would no. also not want to underappreciate lips. For sure. They're really handy. Yeah. Good yeah. for eating. Yeah. Good for keeping like stuff in your mouth. You yeah. Put a uh, makeup on but, them. If you... Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, because I so guess like in certain areas, lips. <laughs> like we're a pro lips. <laughs> yeah, we are a pro lip podcast. Pro lips. Not a pro lips a... podcast. No. no. That's so wild. But yeah, like be careful where you say <laughs> like when to go to. Like if you're in an area where it's like there's been sightings and stuff of it, if you say it, like apparently it's really bad luck, and you're basically like inviting it to come well, get you. We literally have like a yeah. Statue. We can do that right now. Yeah. We literally have like a statue one like right outside our uh, <laughs> office. They had it pointing into our office for a while. Apparently, some people from our town didn't like their boss or something. Yeah, I think they're trying yep, to send a message. Yeah. yeah, but it's pointing away now at least. But uh, well, yeah. I, should, I, should, I should take. Okay, I'll take a picture. Take a picture and throw it up right up there. there. Right, there we go. Yeah. Zero Wendigo or like a death claw from Fallout. It's amazing, by the way. It, yeah. It's it's so cool. It's such a wicked, wicked uh, statue. So if you want to see some crazy uh, chainsaw carvings of Wendigos, yeah, check out that one. <laughs> also, <laughs> two, also a very romantic scene between two turtles. Oh yeah, that <laughs> one's hilarious. <laughs> I, I okay, I gotta throw a picture of that up <laughs> right about here. Yep. Oh yeah. my god, there it is. There's the turtles. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes up when you Google Chetwin. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It really is. You can check it right now. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, is that is that the end? I think yeah. I think we've reached the end, my friend. Oh, I yep. watched uh, Cosmic Sin. Oh yeah, totally off topic. Bruce Willis. Yeah, we talked about it in the How previous it? episode. It was, was it basically a documentary about Bruce Willis not wanting to be there. <laughs> I remember seeing the trailer for it, and like he did, like he had like no energy in the trailer. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah. Not good. I did see Not the new Space it. Jam. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. let's do this. Uh, yeah, oh it's... Uh, how are we doing for time? We're almost at yeah. We're mm. going to hit over now. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no. First first Space Jam was like a masterpiece compared to the second one. Which is saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, apparently it's just like a Warner Brothers... It, it's like ready, it was like Ready Player One, but for basketball. Yeah. I, I've okay, now here, here's the weird thing. I have now seen two movies that have the Iron Giant in it that isn't the Iron Giant. <laughs> That's Did, uh, wild. Vin Diesel. Did he voice the? Uh, I don't think he voices it, but like, yeah, I've seen like two non-Iron Giant movies with the Iron Giant in it. 
What's up with that? Interesting. Hmm. Nostalgia. Pop, pop culture, the that, movie. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, if since we're going over it anyways, I can talk about a movie that was actually good and sure. worth the watch. Sure. Uh, the Father. Yes, uh, uh, Sir one, Anthony. Yeah, the one. Yeah. Oh, that one. yeah, you finally, yeah, you watched it? That was it. Yeah, I did, and I, I got emotional. I won't lie, like, at the end of the movie, like, he... He played the role so well, and it was so upsetting that by the end of the movie, you're you're just heartbroken because it's like you basically saw this man lose his mind like throughout the movie. Yeah, it's about it's based dementia, on, right? Yeah. So like the way that the the writer wrote it, which I didn't know before, but he actually wrote a play beforehand. So it's like actually the play of the father was like running, and he's like, this would make a great movie. So he made a screenplay for it, and the only person he wanted to play the main character is Anthony Hopkins. And so he waited years, and he, like, he mailed him, he called him, like, he did everything he could to try and get him to play this role. And eventually, like, Sir Anthony was like, okay, like, I'll check it out. And he read the script, and he was like, I should have done this years ago. Like, it's such a beautiful movie, but it's it's really sad because you're you're watching it from the point of a dementia patient. So it's like you actually feel, like, they make you feel like you're losing your mind. And it was, it was heart-wrenching. Like it was one of the most heart wrenching. So so it's I it's not a movie that you will watch when you're looking for like a feel good time. Yeah, it's no, this a, is like one of those movies up. you want to watch if you want to watch like um, an Oscar worthy film. Basically, it's like if you're in the mood for something cinematic and something to make yeah. you like come out of your normal box. Hundred percent, watch this film. Like I can totally see why he won the Oscar for this. What I need to see is Pig with Nicolas Cage because yes. apparently it's good. Yeah, I gotta find that one. Yeah. Heck it's yeah. apparently Any, it's doing well. It's Nicholas Cage is like, so good. Yeah, you know he was going to do a uh, he was going to play Joe, Joe Exotic. Yeah, that was in the works by Netflix, but they canned it. Why? It? Come on, Netflix. Yeah. Smart enough. That would have been fantastic. Nobody could have played that role better. Hundred <laughs> percent. I would like to introduce an an, an alternate. Yep. Yeah. An alternate. Okay, who? Pinch hitter, maybe? Yep. Willem Dafoe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That would have worked, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that would have been cool. great. Oh, my God. <laughs> the possibilities of what could have been. But, yeah, like, I, I think, uh, you, you know, they released, uh, what was it? Tiger King, right? Was the name? Yeah. 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 They Tiger released King. it last year. Of course, everybody was, like, full of hype and everything. And then, yeah. you know, it's now, like, a year and a bit later and... I think people's interests have kind of waned, so that's what they canned it. Um, I would say I would say yes and no. I still feel like if they like released, if, if like, they did Nicolas Cage version of Joe Exotic, yes, I would watch that. I would watch the crap out of that. I don't think I'd be the only one because I remember like the hype around it was huge, and I remember people were like, "Okay, hey, when's the movie coming out?" So like the fact that Netflix kind of was like, "Oh, well, it's been a year now, so we shouldn't do it." I'm surprised because I feel like it it still would have performed well. I think so, but. I, I'm not a Netflix executive. I have no power. True. Yes. True. You look Can you imagine if you just had me. the power for a day? <laughs> oh. Man, I would green light so many weird ideas. <laughs> right? <laughs> just like, give me everything weird and go do it. Yeah. It would be so much fun. <laughs> well, I think that... Yeah, uh, I think we're, we lost our... We're running out of steam. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, that wraps up this edition of Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Vaskowski. And I'm kind of sad that Tiger King is not going to be a Nick Cage movie. (laughs) See you next time.